Well, let's take a look at both teams now. West Ham United, name a team which is unchanged from the one that won 2-1 at Birmingham last weekend. And given the general improvement in performance, that's no great surprise. Emily Van Egmond is West Ham's player in form with three goals in her last three games, while Rachel Daly will continue at right back after the success of her positional move there against the Blues. There is a sense that this is a team which is starting to knit together neatly for Matt Beard. Maybe in contrast, Hope Powell makes four changes to the side that lost against Aston Villa last weekend, with Cecily Fiskerstrand taking over in goal in place of Megan Walsh for the Norwegians. First, Brighton start, and Emily Simpkins, Rihanna Jarrett and Hayley Green all coming in. Simpkins for her first start of the season. Megan Connolly is unavailable. Kirsty Barton and Lee Gugmin drop to the bench. Here are the substitutes. West Ham have the likes of Kenza Daly and Kate Longhurst on the bench to bring experience and Norma Staffer and Ruby Grant exuberance. While Brighton now have a few who'll be keen to prove a point, you feel, to Hope Powell with the likes of Lee and Nora Haroom, useful potential additions. There is Matt Beard. Remarkable job. Took over Liverpool in 2012 when they were bottom of the table and then won WSL twice with them in 13 and 14 before heading to Boston Breakers and then back to West Ham United where he does believe he's building something. That's given away and the shot lined up and driven wide and wasn't too far away. Good hit on the turn there from Rihanna Jarrett. New signing from Wexford in uh, January of this year, scored two on her debut. Need to be watchful here, yeah, Fisker Strand looking into the sun, but she soon judged it was ballooning over the crossbar. Well, that breaks kindly. And Fired just wide. Chase here and it held up too. Oh, it's a big chance for Martha Thomas. All she needed was elevation. And Fisker Strand able to make the save that she really shouldn't have been. Best chance of the game by some distance. Just a long punt downfield, it held up in the wind. Fisker Strand breathes a huge sigh of relief. It was very poor defensively that from Brighton, and it should have been punished by Thomas. Here she goes again. This time just allows it to run out of play. Here it is again, it just sat up beautifully. Real miscue in the end. Straight at the goalkeeper, the one place it couldn't go. Corner hangs a little on the wind as well and drifts over everyone's head. Flatty was there at the far post. Used the ball rolled into Whelan and her cross wasn't too far away. Get harder as a bigger club strengthened. Here's Svitkova. Now this is promising. Rolling it there for Martha Thomas, who just couldn't take the chance, and the chances have fallen to her today. Not yet able to take one. Again, drag just wide. It's how close the margins are. Fisker Strand does well to come out and narrow the angle. This theme of useful Brighton counter attacks continues and nearly led to a goal. They think it should have led to a penalty. 
Appeals are ongoing, but nothing doing. It's the second time that West Ham have taken a risk in one of those defensive moments. And the second time the referee's been uninterested. Let's have a look again. Bottom of your screen is where you're looking. It's O'Sullivan who makes the run. In fact, at the far post, it was hard to see what the level of contact was. I'm not so sure, you know. I think the referee might have got that right. I don't think there's a clear shirt tug or a foul. Kick there from Van Egmond. Here's Thomas. Nice change of direction. Great ball into just too close in the end to Fisker Strand, but that's good from Martha Thomas. That's Kagman. Good feet here from Whelan to pull it back. These are the little moments when Brighton really start to threaten. Bowman with the corner. Arnold touching it slightly awkwardly behind. She was stretching and straining there. in towards that uh, near post. Runs forward here towards Jarrett, who's done really well to force it in. Rihanna Jarrett out of nothing. Persistence got her there. And Brighton in front. She did superbly well. Every striker's instinct hooked forward. There shouldn't have been anything on. She got around Flati, who'll be furious with herself. Goalkeeper committed. Mackenzie Arnold as well, and Jarrett just kept going. It's a really poor goal to concede, and it actually did it come off Lati in the end. Does that eventually go down as an own goal? I think it might, but it's Jarrett who takes all the credit. Smash and grab, and now West Ham need to respond here. Another touch from Jarrett, really good one too. And it falls kindly to make it two, what a chance for Kagman. Oh, which is going to be on the losing side here, unless things change. And here's Thomas. Trying to work the angle here, Thomas! In the end, it was neither shot nor cross. That's a useful ball over the top, but it's well read in the end by Bowman. She got there a bit late, but she got there. Throw taken quickly, they've upped the tempo here, West Ham. free kick and she measured it right she has half a chance it would have been some finish neatly over the top and looking a threat again aren't they Dali trying her luck you can see what she was thinking low this time from Daly they just look to try and make something happen there's Dali. Just runs away. This will be it for West Ham. The throw from Daly and it finds its way through. It was scruffily dealt with by Brighton, but they get it clear now. Looked like a foul throw from Daly to me, as did that one. 
This will be it. Needs a quality cross, and it got one. Still, they can't quite get it clear, but now they can punch the air because surely now Brighton have done enough. Keen, and it was with the volley over. Already over a minute beyond the five. They'll take their time now. And they have surely done enough. Brighton have battled right to the last, and they have their win. Huge victory for them. Second of the season, Rihanna Jarrett, with that heroic effort to produce the goal 21 minutes from time. West Ham came into this in form.